Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements green screen removal video, we'll be taking out this green background in here, just like that, and either making it a transparent background, or if you want to at that point, you can always put in any background that you want. Okay, so let's take a look at green screen removal, and let's get to it. In Photoshop Elements Green Screen Removal, we have some things working in our advantage and some things working against us. The thing in our advantage, of course, is that the background is all one color. So that allows us to select for that color and then just delete that color or use that color to create a layer mask, which we'll be seeing up there. Now the problem, of course, here is that it's not exactly the same color. Here's a real bright spot. Here's some real dark spots in here. So the better the green screen photograph, and this is a pretty bad one, the better the photograph, the easier this process is. Ideally, you wouldn't have these reflections in here, and you wouldn't have this really bad shadow over here. And notice that the curve is kind of right there. You can kind of see the curve right here. He's right in front of the back of the screen. The further your subject is away from the actual screen behind him, the better off you are. Easier to solve any shadowing problems, and you get a better image. So he's actually too close to the green screen in behind him for a good image. And there should be a fill light back here on the screen, and you know, blocking off from him, but getting the screen in there to lighten that up a bit, making it just easier to do the removal. In any case, this is what we have. It's a pretty difficult one actually because of the highlights, the hot spots, and that shadow, but it's still very doable. The other problem when you're working with green screen or any other green, any other color rather, say a, a blue screen for instance, is what's called color spill. If we zoom in here, let me hide my foreground. There we go, that's our sample. If we zoom in and take a look at his pants down here, you can see right in here that the green is reflected into his clothing. So we first have to remove the green screen and then we have to come back in and get the green out of the clothing as well, get rid of the green spill that's happening in there. So it's actually two steps. All right, let's do the easy part first. And let me just change this here to fit on screen. There we go. And I'm going to just delete this one up here. Just get rid of that. There we go. And don't worry about that in behind here. We'll start off with this image. Now I'm working with a standard six high by four wide default image here. Then I just placed this image into that image. Let's go ahead and go clear back to the beginning. See how that whole process is done. I won't even bother saving that. So we'll start off here with a brand new file, blank file. And I have my set of four width and six height. That's the default size. And then 300 resolution. If yours says six by four, just change those two numbers to give you the tall image instead of the wide image and choose OK. There it is. And I'll just change this to fit on screen right there. There's our basic standard Photoshop Elements size image. It's just easy to work with that one. Let's now put our picture inside here. Go to File, and I'll do Open. And right here is the image. There's a link for this. You can download this from my video support page. There we go. I'm just going to take him and just drag him into this image right there. And then we'll resize him. Just grab the corners here. Let's just resize him to bring him down to make a good fit in here. And that looks pretty good. I think I'll go a little larger here and just make sure I don't have any of that back showing. Okay, just a little bit larger than our page so there's no edges showing. Now if you decided to use the file and place option instead of just using the drag and drop like I just did, then make sure you right click over here and select to simplify because if you place it's going to be placed in as a smart layer and we don't want to have that. So if you brought it in as a place just right click and choose simplify layer. Same difference. I'm going to use my arrow key here and just kind of tap this to the left just a touch. Just cleaning up that one left side edge. Okay, so there we go green screen picture on here. Now because it's a green screen we can use an easy tool 
like the magic wand to come in and just select that screen. Now the default tolerance in here is 32. And we'll take a look at that to begin with. Make sure you have anti-aliasing set up and it should be set at new selection right there. Just click any old place and it's going to be selecting part of that as you can see. It's not going to pick up everything. If I zoom in a little bit here in real tight on the pants here, you can see that it's kind of missing the edge there a little bit. So it's not really quite up right up against that edge. I prefer it closer to the edge than that. So let's set this back on fit on screen. I'm going to deselect that and back to our magic wand. Let's bring the tolerance up. You can go maybe even 60. And that's going to give you a little more greens, and that should give us a tighter selection. So I'm just clicking right in the same place again. Notice how it's giving us a larger selection this time. It's more tolerant, and it's choosing more greens. Now if we zoom in, this should be a lot tighter on that pant leg in there. And it is. It's real tight up against that pant leg. It's a little bit off right there, but it's pretty close. And that's going to help us quite a bit. So you want to come in and use a larger sized selection in here with a magic wand. I think 6C is pretty good to get as much of it as you can on your first shot. Now with there's still a spit over in here. Ignore that. Ignore that. We'll fix those in a second. But I do care about what's up here around the arm since that's not inside of our selection yet. So let's just zoom in a bit on that. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, this bit right in here. I want to add that to my selection. So back to the magic wand. Click on the second button here, which is Add. Add to Selection right there. And click right up next to the hand. And it adds in that bit into our selection. There we go. So nice, clean selection. And let's go back to our magic wand. And it's fit on screen. Okay, that looks good. A nice, tight selection around the figure. And ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. So what we've selected now is this part here and not the figure. So to fix that, I want the figure selected. Go up to Select and Inverse. And now the figure is selected plus those two things. So at this point, we're actually fine. And there's a little bit right up there. You can kind of see a little kind of flickery thing happening up there as well. So right now, go over here and click on Add Layer Mask. It makes a layer mask now out of that there's our figure on our clear background with this thing, this thing, and that thing still sitting in here. Notice over here on the layer mask that what's white is showing and what's black is not showing. So we can fix this with our black paintbrush. Grab your paintbrush, make sure you're on black. Pick a good large size brush. Maybe about 100-ish, 150-ish, 200 even. And just paint black right on that layer mask. Notice the light blue outline. If it's over here, double click on your layer mask. And just paint that out. And we saw a little bit up there, so I'll paint that corner as well. Okay, now let's see how this looks. Let's zoom in. If it's not perfect, we can go back and just do it again. But that looks pretty good. Pretty nice in there. I'll hold the space bar down, just kind of move this around a little bit. Gets a little rough right around there. And there's a little bit of green showing in here. Looks pretty good for all the rest. Of course, we have some green in the pants down there. A little bit over here that's missed, so grab the paintbrush again and just bring our size down. There we go. And just kind of paint that out. And back to our select tool. Hold the space bar down. Just kind of move it around. Okay, I'll need to fix that and fix those laces in there. Not a big deal. Everything else looks pretty good. So the only real bad spot is right along the arm right here. Now I can try to fix that by just softening up the edge a little bit here. So I'll go up to the layer mask. Make sure you're on the layer mask side. Again, if it's over here, double click on layer mask and see the light blue outline around the layer mask. Let's just soften the mask down just a hair. Go up to filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur, and this gives this just one pixel and see how that does. Okay, that's better down here, but still a little bit of green showing through now. So let's try this at 
This sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. And that's pretty good. Looks like we just got that. So it's just softening up the edge, maybe even smaller than that. Just about 0.2 is not enough. 0.3, okay, that's about as, as good as we can go. So it just softens up that edge just a little bit. We can fix that manually. And I think that edge looks real, real nice. And she's okay. So just a real small adjustment on that. All right, now let's take care of that kind of green edge. There's a little bit of green showing up in here and his hair kind of seeing through the hair actually up there. I'll show you a couple of different ways of fixing these green problems. We'll do one way up on the hair. Because the hair is black, this is a pretty easy one. Double click on the image side and then come down here to this tool. It may look like that. That's the dodge tool or it might look like this up here. But click in that location and click on the sponge tool, which looks like a sponge. Set that to desaturate, which is remove color. Set your flow all the way to the top, 100%. And then to set a brush size, which is about the same size as our green spill area. Now just paint over that. And what you're doing is you're simply removing the color from that area. You can do several passes at that. Just kind of tap it and just little little clicks like click pull click pull click pull just kind of like that and you're converting the green into a grayscale picture black and white picture works really well on dark hair like this real easy we're just making it black and white instead of a color picture but on black hair no one's ever going to notice that and that cleans that up that's real nice we can even do that a little bit right down along that side here it's like a little bit of sideburn poking out right back there. So there we go. You can even do this a little bit along the edge of the face in here. It depends upon the skin tone. And right here, this will work out fine. It's a little bit right there. Because these are little thin lines. It's not a real obvious spot. And it's okay if it goes maybe just to a grayscale here instead of a color. So this works out really well for some of these areas. Just pulling out a little bit of the color in there and it just blends right in. So that's one way to do this. Pretty straightforward as you can see. Most of this doesn't really need anything. It looks pretty clean. Like right in here, I think just a little bit right down on that. Looks good. Maybe a little bit up right along the edges of the fingers here. Don't do too much on this because you don't want to turn it into a big black and white mess. So, you know, go slow and only catch just the edges where they tend to go dark anyway and that should blend right in okay so that's a good way to handle these little thin edges the other problem we have is where you get some spill now there's a little bit of thin edges in here we can do this the same technique we'll stick with this just for a minute here let's clean up this sleeve it has a little bit now it's blue so it'll could have a little bit of green on it anyway so not that big of an issue. Sometimes, you know, the color will help you out. Now right here, this obviously is a silver watch. A lot of green showing in here. So let's just go ahead and do the exact same technique. And just convert this part of the watch to a black and white by desaturating our color. And that looks perfect right there. No one's ever going to know. And just continue on down. And we'll finish off the edge of the jacket, which this one technique works out just fine for this, just desaturating our colors. Once we get down to the pants, there's a tone on the whole pant leg, and that's a bigger problem. Because you can't desaturate the whole pant leg, it's going to end up looking like he has gray pants instead of those tan colored pants. So that will require a different approach. And we'll get down to that here just in a second. I'll just finish off this jacket bit maybe a little bit right there okay so now we're down here we have this green edge here I could try a little bit of this just on this edge this might be okay for this because just along the edge we might get away with this and I think we do there actually but as we go down there's just a little faint hint of kind of a green tinge in here not much it's pretty subtle you might be able to get away with that one as well. 
but that also will probably go away as we fix this other stuff. Let us finish this edge in here, and we'll come back and we'll fix this. Really bad right there, as you can see, real bad green. Okay, let's now see how you can handle this kind of thing where the green is actually inside of your image quite a ways and you can't use my little edge technique here. For this we need to change this color to something else. So for that we'll use the replace color. Go up here to enhance, come down to adjust color and come down to replace color right there. That gives you this little dialog box and notice here here's a picture kind of a mask in here we have an eyedropper up here and then add to and re retract from or subtract from that so come in here and just grab one of these green areas click on that and that begins to be your base color now click on the plus sign and click in the areas around that and just get a few more of those values and you can see what's happening over here we're catching a little bit of that green edge here, some of the green edge back there, and a bit of the green background. That's already masked out, so that doesn't matter. But this is beginning to give us this shape in here in our mask. Let's do just a few of these to stay inside the part where it's green. Just try to get your range. Now you can increase your fuzziness, and this will expand that range. Just increase it a little bit. Don't go too far, just kind of spread it out a little bit. So there's a little bit right up in here is being caught, a little bit up in here, a little bit around the head and the back is being caught as well, a little bit around the shoes is being caught, but mostly right here where we're clicking. So here's the original color. We've added some more into that to expand our mask a little bit. We've increased our fuzziness a little bit to make it a little bit larger. Now, come down here where it says replacement, where it says hue, slide this to the left. To the right gets more of your cool colors, to the left is more of your warm colors. We want to warm this up, so go to the left a little bit and then watch this box and watch that and just take it so that the green is gone. There we go, we're just in the brown just now. If I'm back a little bit, there's a little bit of green in there still. Just take it just until that green is out of there and it'll be too dark so bring your saturation down just a little bit and bring your lightness up just a little bit, kind of back off on that. And there we go, we've taken the green out of that leg. Maybe a little bit still up in here. If there is, we'll start over again. So close that down. And back to enhance, adjust color, replace color, bring it back up again. I like doing it right from, from scratch or brand new from scratch. And then click a little bit of green right in here. There's not much. It's, it's not really green. But we get a little bit of that in there. Okay, and the same thing. Push your hue a little bit to the left, just a touch, just kind of take out that greenness. Bring your saturation down just a little bit, your lightness up just a little bit to compensate. And choose OK. OK, that's all taken care of. Now it gets other colors in your whole image that match that, so it'll tend to blend the rest of those in as well. All right, we still have green along the edge over here and the edge in here. Let's see if we can get rid of that green now. So same thing again. Adjust color, replace color, and let's click right into that edge and get that green edge. Go to the plus sign, let's pick up a few more of those just right along that edge. And right down in here. Okay, just some edges in there. Ignore that stuff, that's the bright background, it's already masked out, so we can ignore that, but this gets some of our edges. Same thing, move your hue to the left to change that green to something else. So there's kind of a nice tan in there. Bring the saturation down just a little bit, lightness up just a little bit, and that just goes away. There's a real, real faint greenishness in here. We can possibly leave that. We'll take a look at that last. I think this took care of our edges. Let's go over to the right leg. I'll just scroll down a little bit. Okay, this came in a little bit too dark on our fixes up there. This came in a little bit too dark. Now, if you want to limit where the adjustment is, we can do that right down here. I'll show you that. Grab the polygonal lasso tool and then make a lasso just right along the edge of the area. And you can actually limit your adjustment just inside of your selection. Don't worry about that. That's already masked out. Okay, let's just adjust this a little bit. 
same thing adjust color replace color let's just click on to that that's that bit right here and let's just lighten that up a little bit and increase our saturation just a touch maybe just kind of play around with that a bit and make it a little bit less less noticeable just a slight change in here and I think that's pretty good and let's deselect looks better I like that okay there's a little bit of greenishness in here a little bit up in here these would be the exact same technique that we've just been using just kind of work your way through and knock those out as you begin coming down to smaller areas you may want to you know do a selection around there and then do just that one little bit okay so that's how you handle those large areas of green as we see up here it worked out really nicely let's take a look at another spot that's right down here on these two parts of the lace now what happened here was that these weren't picked up when we made our selection and did our layer mask this actually is a layer mask problem and not a color problem so double click on the layer mask again black hides white shows I want to hide that so let's grab our paintbrush we're still on black let's bring the brush size down a long ways here real small brush there's a little two and I'm just going to come in here and just kind of tap in here I think maybe even set this at one one pixel real small I'm just going to tap several times in here and just kind of clean that out all I'm doing is I'm adding black on the layer mask and hiding that bit of the green background and same thing right down there just tap in there and hide that background okay there's another lace problem over here I'll just roll down and there it is little lace problem right here I'll actually paint this one in just do a couple of passes around this with the paintbrush again what I'm doing is I'm painting black onto the layer mask and I'm hiding that section that didn't get selected last time I'm just kind of working that out I can even come in a little bit here tighten that up just a bit okay so that takes care of that so that actually is all the techniques so we have the one technique of desaturating along edges which we showed you the second technique which is good for areas like in here where you actually replace the color with something that doesn't have as much green in it and third technique is coming in and fixing your mask if you look at our shoe down here you can see there's a bit of a green shadow down here there's the heel right there and then there's a green shadow we can fix this as well this again is a mask problem you can freehand that if you want to but I think I'll use the polygonal lasso tool and I'll start way back here at the back of the heel and I'm just going to come in and do a little tighter on this and I'll show you a couple of ideas on this I'll do one idea this way then we'll undo it and I'll show you another idea okay just back around like that and double click to finish that off let's make a selection you can then easily paint this in a little larger paintbrush just like that and actually take that out so it's that easy just make your selection and paint it out all we're doing is painting black on our selection and just cleaning up our selection okay let's let's undo a couple of steps here and I'll just undo that lasso the other idea behind this is that this is actually a shadow on the ground so you may want to keep the shape but what you want is you want to get rid of the green aspect of this and once again we'll use our desaturation technique down here so there's our desaturation brush and let's just come in and I'm actually on the wrong spot there let me undo that and back up a little bit there we go I need to be on the picture so double click on your picture side there we go and just desaturate that to remove that green out of it we're making it into a black and white image down there which is again fine for a shadow and the nice thing about doing it this way is that we retain the shadow so when we put them onto another surface there will still be that nice little shadow underneath the foot which is actually what we want to have so in this instance if you want a real clean aspect on so I want to really clean it out completely then go ahead use that technique I just showed you where you make a selection and then just add paint black into the layer mask and clean it up that way so you have a nice perfectly clean edge and then make your own shadow or if you want to keep the shadow 
just go ahead and use the desaturate brush to desaturate that. All right, let's take a look at this. View, fit on screen. So there we go, looks pretty good. Even looks good down on the legs. I'd probably go in and spend some more time in here and be a little more picky. Maybe a little bit of green in here and a little bit of green right down in there. I may go back and you know take care of those. I won't bother with that on this video though. I think we've seen enough on this to see how it's done. But it looks pretty good. Let's fit on screen. There we go. So nice clean edge. At this point, just hide your background and there's your transparent background. If you want to put them onto a different background, let's bring another picture in here. I'm just going to open a recent picture here as a tree picture. There we go. I'll just drag that in. Just a little demo in here, and let's resize this. Just drag it up. There we are. Looks pretty good. Put that underneath or in behind, and there we go. We have now standing out in the forest someplace. I can move that around until it looks good. Nice lighting. So there you go. That's how you do green screen removal. Let me just show you the whole picture again. I'll disable our layer mask. So there's the original with some of our color change happening in there. Ignore that. There is with the layer mask, our cleanup. So we've removed the background with that green screen. Now again, as I mentioned in the beginning, let me bring the original picture back up again here. That's this Bollywood picture right there. There's the original. As I mentioned here, if you have control of the photograph, try to move your subject away from that back wall and try to get rid of shadows back there and highlights back there. The less of that kind of stuff you have, the easier it's going to be to clean this up. Also, the further your subject is from that back wall, the less of that green spill you're going to be getting. So again, get them away from that back wall and even that light out and it'll be a better picture. But even with this, even with this bad green screen, we still did a real nice cleanup on this image. It gives us a nice transparent background and then we can place anything we want in behind our figure. So there you go. That is Photoshop Elements Green Screen Removal. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.